it, it's catch os is brilliant right and it's really well done it's really highly optimized but it's not for the common man it's not for people like me i mean i love linux you know you see all my videos i love it and march was a turning point for me because it's accessible i don't need to mess around to get working i can work on it which is the key thing i mean i've looked at all the different distributions there's only one other distribution that comes close to as being as good as a march is for me and that's the new pop os with the cosmic desktop that's really cool but this sort of it, i don't know there's something about this that really really got me it's the easy way you can install packages it's the two e's and so i mean I, my mac is dust um i don't mean, know i haven't i haven't i only opened a windows machine purely for um i think i have to set my son's homework up or something on it that's the only time i look at windows now been just if this is lower that's going to be quite funny i mean you don't it's optional in the installer process the key part of this is the game scope part the, the kernel thing came afterwards it was like there was a lot of chatter about it and i thought okay we'll just include it but you don't need to have it you can skip that bit by just pressing no when you install the games mode thing and it'll literally you could just bypass it and to get rid of it if you run the script again it will ask you if you want to deinstall it so it'll take off the um it'll take off the uh the kernel but it's still there as you see what that little picture that i threw up you can select the old kernel um or the new kernel they'll both update but the the oddity is is when you update a march with the catchy kernel it keeps telling you that your kernel's changed well you know that but it'll do the updates and it'll update the kernel but it it tells you, you need to reboot but you don't 